Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done, and these are my October favorites. Gonna love you, honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dove singing out a song. Let's start with beauty. Some of these are brand new to me. Some of them are repeat buys that I had to get again in October, so I thought they were worth mentioning again. The first I'm really excited about, it is I would say it's winged tip eyeliner for dummies. <laughs> I have kind of been trying the winged eyeliner for the past year. <clears throat> I've gotten better at it, but it's still really difficult for me. And main, the main thing I struggle with is to get the angles to match on either side. And I was out of eyeliner and I'm not really loyal to a particular brand of eyeliner so I did a random search on Amazon and this came up. I'm gonna link everything below. They didn't do a very good job of branding. I got this three weeks ago and the logo already rubbed off so I don't even know what it's called but there are two and one side on both of them are identical and it's just to line your eyes as usual. This is a liquid liner. I will say some people will like this, some people won't. This is very stiff. It doesn't give much give at all. So I'll take this and I'll just line, you know, my eyes as usual. And then the other side is a stamp. Do you see that? And so there are two because you have two different angles. So this one would go on this eye. So you just kind of line it up and stamp your eye. And then I do the other side and then I do find I need to kind of fill in a little bit with this other side. I think that as I'm getting older I have some wrinkles especially on this eye in the corner and so the stamp doesn't exactly get everything equally. So I just quickly fill it in. I don't know, I think it's nice. Like I don't think it's exactly my perfect winged eyeliner if I had a makeup artist. I think it's a little too dramatic um, for what I'd want for every day, but it's so easy. So I'm really liking this. And I'm pregnant right now. I'm having a little bit of self-image issues. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm feeling bad about myself, I like to kind of dress a little extra nicely or kind of up my makeup game. And so I feel like this is just helping me feel a little better about myself. I needed a mascara as well. I love this stuff. It's the famous Lash Paradise from, is it L'Oreal? Yeah, from L'Oreal. And I just really like it. I don't know. It's very lengthening and not very clumpy. I'm not really into clumpy, well, is anyone into clumpy mascara? But I feel like mascara clumps on my eyelashes really easily, so love this thing. The lipstick I've been loving this month is from Young Living. It is called, is it Uptown Girl? Uptown Girl, I'm wearing it right now, and I just think it's a really good, fall color, not too dramatic. I have super chapped lips. I love a dramatic lip, but I feel like I can't really pull it off unless my lips aren't chapped, which they always are, so I'm loving this. Lastly in the beauty category is my rose facial toner. I love this stuff so much. I feel so luxurious. I feel like I'm at a spa. I spray it just all over my face in the morning and then put my cold cream over it and it really just helps set the moisture in and lock it in. And it just feels so fancy. It's so simple, but so fancy. Okay, moving on to like books and learning and everything. If my friend Erin is watching me, I feel so bad. She sent me these books and ever since being pregnant, I have a really hard time reading and so I have not gotten through one of them yet. I've been really into Audible, especially this pregnancy. I don't know what it is. So I, I did read one book, but I really listened to it on Audible, and it is called The One Thing. Yep, so there it is. This is Audible. Oh. 
We work longer hours and earn more. I didn't know I was going to play for you. Um, it's a self-help book. I got a lot out of it. It was, I think, like three... Oh, it was five and a half hours. I listened to it going to our cabin and home. And it, I got a lot out of it. I really definitely am implementing certain things that he said into my everyday life. He really helps you just focus. And he talks a lot about the myth of multitasking. And no, A, we're not good at multitasking. And B, we shouldn't be doing it. Kind of nothing gets done well when we do that. So just really looking at the big picture, like what is your goal and what is the one thing you can do right now to help move that goal forward. And so I think it's just a good reset book and I really recommend it. I heard about it from Haley Page. I'm gonna include her in my favorites as well. She is a YouTuber. And I've maybe watched five of her videos in the past, so I really like her. I just never been that invested. She was doing a lot of lifestyle mommy content and she just rebranded and now she's doing more entrepreneurial type things. She makes money from YouTube. Her husband and her sell on Amazon. She has, I think, several streams of income that she makes online. So she has moved her content more into entrepreneurial type things, specifically aimed toward moms who are trying to make an income online. And I just really enjoy that stuff. So she talks about motivational books and how she does her morning routine and all that jazz. So check out her channel below. Moving on to food. I mean, I'm just really loving apples. Like every day I have one or two apples. It is that time of year, especially in Minnesota. We went to an apple orchard once or twice this year. And so I'm just loving it. I love to dip it in peanut butter, sprinkle cinnamon over it. Oh, so good. Uh, the other fall type food that I'm loving right now is spaghetti squash. We probably have had spaghetti squash once a week in October. It is so good. A lot of people substitute it for like gluten pasta because it's a lot healthier, which I like, but I just, I like it. Like I genuinely like it, especially in the fall. I think it tastes so good and it's just a different kind of way to eat your pasta. I finally got back to working out at lunchtime this month. I've been slacking for a really long time. And partly it wasn't slacking, partly I just enjoy working out at night outside, but I can't anymore because, you know, it's dark when I get home from work pretty much now. So I've been really enjoying going to the gym again during my lunch break and I just do like 20 minutes, either a 20 minute walk or walk in a jog or a quick weight training workout, quick stretch and I don't know, I'm really glad to get back into it. I feel like it really helps me have a much more productive afternoon. And along with that, I'm, a, I guess today when this goes out, the Tone It Up 31 day October challenge is completed and I really enjoyed this challenge. I will link Tone It Up's website below if you guys are interested. It's a free lifestyle fitness uh, workouts and content and then there is stuff that you can buy extra, but they have daily workouts that are free and they take about 15 to 20 minutes and that's really enjoyable to me. So I will link them below. Oh, and one of them, the co-founder just had a baby um, and I'm 23 weeks pregnant, 22 weeks pregnant. Um, so it's just kind of been fun to watch her pregnancy progress and they have a lot of prenatal content for exercising on their uh, various streams right now. So I think that is everything. I didn't have a ton this month, but I definitely wanted to share because October is just the best and I am really sorry to see it go, but excited for November because that's a great month too. I just love resetting and all the gratitude that happens in November. So I will see you next month. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and whatever your plans are, I hope you get them done. Bye guys. Ooh.